Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to fix the motor blinking or flickering on and off. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. Now, you might be wondering, how do you fix your Dell monitor here? Well, in this case, there's a few things that you do here to probably solve this issue. So one of them is you might want to check a few things, like for example, checking your cable. Now, sometimes your cable might be the actual problem here. So in this case, make sure that your cable is properly plugged in. So make sure it's fully snug in, either an HDMI cable or a display port cable. So in this case, make sure they are properly plugged in. Also, you might want to check if the cable is twisted in any way or if it has any bite marks or it, if it has like any broken. So in this case, you might want to replace that specific uh, cord or your wire. So in this case, just replace it, see if that is the problem. Now, if your cord or your cable is not the problem here, the next thing that you want to do here is you want to check for updates on your graphics driver. Now, this might not be obvious sometimes if you don't have the latest driver on your computer or in your PC. This might lead to problems with you viewing your actual graphics on your monitor, which in turn, it will be the problem on your dead monitor. So how do you exactly update your graphics driver? So there's two ways that you could do or update your uh, driver here. So first at the bottom left, you want to search for the following, which is going to be device manager. Go ahead and open it up. And from here, what we need to do is we need to look for the option for display adapters. And you want to look for your display adapter here, right click on it. And you want to go ahead and click on update the driver. Now from here, you want to click on search automatic for drivers and just wait for it to update itself. And once it's actually updated, you can go ahead and close this one and see if that solves the issue. Now, another thing that you might want to do here is you might want to install the actual application to, for managing your updates for your the display adapter here, which in this case, mine, I'm using NVIDIA. So uh, I'm actually using or install the NVIDIA here. So I have game ready, uh, ready driver here. So I want to go ahead and choose this one, click on next and basically uh, proceed on the uh, screen here. You want to go to drivers at the left side. And in here, if you do see any update buttons, you want to go ahead and click on it. So in this case, go ahead and click on reinstall and basically install it in your PC. Now, another thing that you might want to do here to fix your problem is you might want to adjust your display settings. How do you exactly do that? Well, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click on your uh, desktop here and you want to go to your display settings. And in here, what we need to do next is we want to go ahead and basically select the monitor that you're having problems with. So for example, if you're having problems with monitor number two or number three, you could go and select that and you want to go to your display resolution section. Now, in this case, you want to select your display resolution. So in this case, make sure to select the, uh, the recommended uh, display resolution. Sometimes not choosing the recommended one can cause problems. And also you might want to go to uh, the uh, advanced display settings. And also you might want to check your refresh rate. So make sure to set this to the appropriate one. So if you have like 60 Hertz, make sure you set that instead of 50 if you have it lower. But yeah. Also, another thing that you might want to check here is going to be the power supply on your monitor. Sometimes if the power supply is, is not working properly or if you, if you didn't actually uh, plug your power supply properly, it might cause the issue itself, which in turn is uh, not you being able to use it. So in this case, check your power supply, make sure it's plugged in into a plug that has power or try using a different uh power supply if you can. So if you have a different cord or a wire here, make sure to try it as well. But yeah, so those are the things you can do here to probably solve this issue, and that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.